Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. Let me get my chat up. That takes me about a minute or two. And I guess I should turn on some light. Um, I guess that would help, huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know who's here yet. Um, okay, where is my live? There it is. Now, let me just get my chat up. You guys know what I do. The first ones that get in here, they're usually talking to themselves. And why does it come up with top chat every time? Okay, it says live chat. Well, hello, Mattify. Hang on, uh, I'm going to get started. I'm trying to get my chat up to where I can see it from where I'm at. I got a laptop up on the shelf. And tonight, I'm not, oh, well, hello, Angelique. How are you? Oh, that's so good. Um, I'm testing out some new paints. These are, let me see if I can get it focused. These are, I got them from Dick Blix. Um, they're Altier, at, Altieri. Adler, I don't know, interactive, I can't pronounce that word right there, so sorry. Interactive Artist Acrylics. So, this is what I'm going to be adding to the resin. And swipe, come on, got, got to get my apron. Um, well, hello, Sally. Um... I'm going to test them. Now, they are pretty light because they're pastels. Um, my um, partner in crime, uh, Joe Patty, she tested them out on her channel as just acrylics. I am testing them out as, oops, sorry, um, in resin. So, we're going to see how it works and I'm going to make a... a I'm going to make a, a black with a little bit of uh, a white with a little bit of black background. You know, not not half and half. Okay, there's my rag. Okay, let me leave that there for now. And let me get some gloves out. And I do have one mod coming in probably because the rest of my mods are in Texas. Whooping it up. <laughs> So if, if, if Scarlett or Carrie or Erica and Jeff are watching, I hope y'all are having fun. <laughs> we miss you. Did anybody notice that ATD didn't do a live at 2 o'clock today? I was like surprised by that. Okay, cup, cup, cup. Oh, there we go. There's a cup. Um... Somebody type something. The chat's not moving. I just want to make sure I haven't lost my signal. <laughs> type anything. Type an emoji. Sally, type type a cat emoji. I just want to make sure I haven't lost my signal. Um, because I don't want to touch the computer to scroll up. Um, I don't know how many people are going to show up. Oh. Yeah, well, she never does a live on Tuesdays, Angelique. She um, she does a pre-recorded. So then, thank you, Angelique. She does a pre-recorded um, on um Tuesdays, so she can come in here and mod for me. And my phone just went off, and I hope that wasn't my mod telling me she couldn't be here. Okay. Um. I don't know how much it's... I'm going to do 10 ounces. This this is a, a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm not sure how much I need. But... Yeah, she never does a live on Tuesday. She does a recorded ones. I get so mesmerized by her... Um, by her uh, alcohol ones. Oh! <laughs> That's okay, Jen. That's okay. I am just mixing up my resin still. Um, 
I, I didn't turn my phone off, but hey, you know. And you're okay, you're okay. I don't know if JJ will be here, and I can tell you right now, the rest of them won't. I don't know if Vamp's going to feel up to coming in. Because she's just wearing herself out. Well, hello, Carrie. How are you? Um, are you at, Carrie, are you at Judy's right now, or are you at home? I didn't know if, um, I didn't know, um, if, um, yeah, thank you very much, Jen. Oh, okay, you're at Judy's. Well, hi, Carrie. Hi, Judy. Hi, Erica. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Clara. <laughs> oh, hi, Maddox. Hi, Maddox. I always have to say hello to my little buddy, Mr. Maddox. He's such a cutie. Two years old now. I can't believe that. Now, I'm not sure how these paints are going to um, mix, but we'll find out together, won't we? I'm not going to do all the colors. Um, here, let me get the, the, I got resin all over my hands. Let me get the, the box of the tubes out. They're supposed to be interactive paints. Well, hi, Kate. How are you? Well, hello, Doris. I mean, no. <laughs> How are you doing? I know Rob's asleep. So tell Rob I said hi when you see him in the morning. Um, I'm not sure how these paints are going to react in here. Yep. I kind of figured that. Just don't, Carrie, just don't say you went to, um, 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 what's the name of that place, Jen? Um, Shell Shack? Um, just don't, just don't mention that, um, um, place, um, Shell Shack with the seafood, and Jen will be okay. Well, I'm about to find out. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jen. In case anybody is wondering, there, that's a favorite place of Jen's to go to in, t um, Dallas. And she's not there and everybody else is. And they all went there yesterday. And I feel bad for Jen. Now you always want to mix your resin. Um, for three minutes. I got one more minute. I know when I got to the two minute mark. I get a cramp in my hand. And that's when I like to switch. And... You want to scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, and scrape your stick off during your mixing so you can make sure you get it uh, mixed. I hope that's not too dark. Um, I don't have the overhead light on because that's the one that um, causes the yellow glare in my wet resin, and I'd rather have the white glare for my umbrella lights. Okay, that's mixed. Okay, um... I think I'm going to do the pastel coral and the aquamarine um, and the lilac. Yeah, and the lilac into my cups just to see how they work. Okay, and I need some small mixing cups. Okay, one, two, and I got more downstairs um, and in case she watches it later I still have this one too Joe um, oh hi Megan how are you um, before I forget let me make my alcohol rag which my alcohol bottle is sticky never fails that's for me um <laughs> Um, I'm so sorry, Jen. Okay, let me see here. Three colors. 
two base coats and here's my black okay I'm gonna use the Rust-Oleum gloss black well hello Joe how are you and uh, my sticky can of which you can't even read the label anymore of my um, Rust-Oleum gloss white which I used it earlier I I had some resin left over after I clear coated stuff um, because I've got presents for some of the fam that I that I want to send out soon um, I think what I'm gonna do I don't know if this is gonna look weird but I'm gonna do some white some clear and some black and then I'm going to swipe the colors over them. I don't know if that's going to look weird or not. What do y'all think? And everything is sticky. Oh, everything is so freaking sticky. And I'm probably making, I probably made way too much resin, but that's okay. Um... I'll just pour it off into some shot glasses because I don't have any coasters handy. Okay, let me do my white first. I'm trying to see who's came in. Okay, if I haven't said hello to you, hi. <laughs> I know how the fam is. They they like to they like to talk amongst themselves. Everybody gets to cons cons met console uh, Jan over um, Shell Shack. I don't know. Okay, does that does anybody think that's going to look weird if I do if I do some white, some clear, and some black and then put these three colors over it. Um This doesn't have to be that opaque because the, uh, oops, lid. Oh, this can is so freaking sticky. It's not even funny. <laughs> you want to live there when you retire, huh? Ah, uh, thank you, Saskia. I think you're partial to my paintings. I try. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I have some black and I have some white and then I'll do some clear and then I'm going to do a little bit of the colors. Uh, I don't put a lot in there um, because it doesn't take much of this gloss. Is uh, Carrie? Is any is anybody else watching at the same time by chance? <laughs> Do I need to get nervous? Is is Judy watching? Judy saw the very very first piece of art I did because I was so worried I was going to do it wrong. I taped myself with my very first piece of artwork that I did in resin. And then I sh uh, showed it to Judy. I think I showed it to some of the other fam too. And <laughs> it was it was just oh, this stuff isn't that dark. Well, we are about to find out. I do know that when you use heavy body acrylics or or anything that's really thick, you've got to put your a little bit of resin in and get your and get it mixed up into like a paste almost. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And then you can add more resin. If these work out good, I think I may buy the other sets they have. Now I didn't I didn't buy this one. Oh hi Carol, how are you? Oh. 
Okay. There is my first color, which was the aquamarine. But it doesn't look like aquamarine to you, does it? To me, it doesn't. Okay, this is the pastel coral. And, of course, because it's pastel, as you can see, it's not very dark. But, I'm going to give it a shot. Oops, drop. My cup fell over. You put a little bit in. Mix it, mix up the paint into a paste. So you don't get the little lumpies in there. Then you can put more resin in there. I don't know if I'm going to need to add a little bit more to that or not. We'll see. And because I'm using Pro Glass, now everybody knows, or if you don't, I'll tell you. Pro Glass is not Stone Coat Countertops. It sets up quickly. And when you add acrylic paints to it, it can set up even faster. So I'm trying to hurry as fast as I can with this stuff. Uh, Carol, what you sand... I, I, I got it, um, Jen. Um, what you sand first with is you sand with a 220, okay, um, in a circular motion. And then you clean you clean off all the dust, and then you do it with a, a 400. And then when you clean off all of the dust from that, then you should be good to go. Uh, Jen, I do both. I learned that from Jeff. I do both. Oh, hi, Lopez. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, whoops, shoot. I gotta make my paste first. I kind of figured you did, Angelique. I think all of us that have been there for a long time with the uh, with the fam, we, you know, Jeff, that's how Jeff used to do it. Well, hello, Don and Chuck. How are you two doing? Okay. Okay. Looks like that one's okay. I got a little bit of resin in there. I want to make sure I don't get it out of the camera. Okay. I'm going to do some white, some clear, and some black. I got clear already on there, though. And I know I made way too much white, but... Oh, well... And I am actually going to try to swipe with these colors. I don't know how good that's going to work, but we will find out together. Oh. You've got this, Carol. As Mike Quist always says, you've got this. You can do it. I have yet to have a have a um, commission, but Joe, isn't cat hair cat hair is a story of your life with uh, Spartacus and Nauticus? Okay, now I'm going to do some clear down the middle. So, mm, I'm going to save that little bit of clear just in case I need it for anything else. Okay. Um, what happened to Joe? Oh, hello, Joe. Joe Patty, how are you? I am doing the paints that um, you gave me. The... The 
I, I don't know how to pronounce it. The interactive page, how's that? Oh, Spartacus. Okay, I thought it was Spartacus. Get rid of some of the bubbles, making it a little liquid. Okay, now I am pushing this around to make sure I have no dry spots. This is a cheapy canvas, so it's probably going to pull away from the edge um, later on. Okay, wipe off my fingers, do my black. I know, I probably, sh I probably should have done like Erica and did my pinky so I didn't get it all over my two fingers I use a lot, but I like using these two fingers. See, I wasn't sure how I was going to put the, how much of the black I was going to put on here. So that's why I didn't paint the background black. Oh yes, the interactives. I waited for you to try them out first. Okay, ah! I managed to get some black right there. Well, I'm going to get black in it anyway, probably. Just want to make sure there's no dry spots. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I got swipey papers up there. That's what I'm looking for is my swipey papers to make sure I have some. So... I'm gonna do some pink right there. Well, that's the that's the pastel coral, and this is the pastel aquamarine. I wish it was. I think of aquamarine, and I think of it being darker. Okay. See, I didn't want to put any metallics in here yet. Um, I might add some metallics to one of them. Okay, let me heat my resin up a little bit. Yeah, that was a very, very good mermaid she did. Okay, now, let's see how this stuff swipes across the white, the black, and the clear. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. You want to put a pencil width of the paper down. Then you want to make sure, don't, don't push down too hard. That color is just disappearing right there. That color is just disappearing. It's so light. So let me try over here. It looks better on the black. And I thought I would get lost on the black. And I think it looks better on the black. Well, hi, Karen. How are you? Sorry, I'm in the zone with my swipey papers. And I ended up with some black on the corner of this. I didn't wipe it off good enough.
Mm. I got a sneaky feeling it's not working so well on the white. So, I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some up here. Alcohol abuse. Thank you very much, Lopez. Oh, cool, Joe. I, I, I look forward to yours, but I'm going to watch yours in the morning. Let's see. Alcohol abuse. Oh, jeez. This woman doesn't drink. I drink three beers a year. That is my limit. I still have almost half of an 18 pack in the refrigerator from the Daytona 500 two years ago. Okay, let me heat this up a little bit. Oops, damn it. I got some cells right there. I like that. I don't think I'm going to get much cell action in the white because you can't really see it. Okay, let me do a different paper. Let me do some little swipes. Pencil width of the paper in the, pe in the thing and then lightly drag the color. I wasn't going to do these tonight. I actually was watching one of Jeff's old videos. And I actually was going to get my biggest round out. And I was going to try to do a snake. Or dragon. But I said, nah. I'm not good enough for that yet. I know. You guys. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. Thanks, Karen. Well, I can see it now. It, you can't see, you guys can't really see here. Let me pick it up. You can't really see anything over the white or the clear. Barely. But I like what it's doing on the black. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got some black left. I'm going to put some black right here for it to go over. getting black everywhere over here I'm gonna swipe it over that it's not doing what I wanted it to do over the white oh, I had too much on there shit Excuse me. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. You guys didn't hear that word come out of my mouth. I'm just trying to fix that little drip I got. Okay. I'm going to try to drag some of this this way. trying to get rid of that little thing right there that or I splatter paint well that gave it some interest on that side 
Uh, well, hello, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> you heard it. Thanks. I should. I should have. You know, my mom. I'm turning into my mom. I should have said sugar, because that's what my mom used to say. I want to get some. I want to get some black over in here to kind of break that up. So, I know that's not what you're supposed to do with your um, with your base coat, but my white base coat isn't doing diddly squat over there. I need to warm it up a little bit. I can see that. Give it some interest. Okay. I can't think of anything else I really need to do to this. I am going to try one more black line. I know. There's no rules in resin. There's only... Well, there's only... Only two rules. Never mix more than 10% of your product in there and mix for three minutes. But other than that, there's really no rule to what you can do. I think that black looks better up there. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, Joe. It, it got so washed out. I'm trying to get rid of that one big spot right there that I don't like. Well, and I want. Now I messed that up. There we go. Let me put a color in there. Okay, sorry I'm not paying attention. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured somebody would want to see that, but um, the only thing I can do and I don't know how it's going to look because I don't have any more clear left but <laughs> I got colors left so I'm going to put some Mayron Gold in one of the colors and see what I come up with because Mayron Gold does everything good right? I didn't put this in the description, but everybody knows what Mayron Gold is. Focus, focus. I got c new colors over here I gotta try too. I got a, a new Color Obsession tint. I got some um, Black Current by Color Obsession. And I got some uh, Saffron by uh, Color Obsession. Oh, hello, Danae. How are you? I didn't see you come in. Well... This almost looks like a different type of gold. Okay.
Is this what you meant, Jen? <laughs> I'm just, uh, the one thing I wasn't going to do is I wasn't going to add glitter. Because I don't have any clear glit uh, resin left, really. Okay, I'm going to put a couple more little stripes of this. I don't want to make them big. Excuse my phone, if anybody heard that. I need to get a little bit of gold. Up in here. Okay, well, let's blow this out and see what it does. Oh <laughs> no, that was my phone. Remember that thing, Joe, Patty, um, where it plays the conga drums? That means, uh, that's my, that's my notification for somebody just uploaded another video to YouTube that I need to watch. I got a couple of little gold flakes right here, because I think I had the jar open over that, but, okay, now, let me blow it out a little bit. Oh, rolling over it. that tone I have to add more why do I have to add more I like it the way it is I don't see why I need to add more yes Jen Jen's Add another vein, what, right here? Oh, I, kn I knew what you meant, but right through the middle of the white. This white right here? Well, you know what? Like that, Jen? Okay. I need, I still need, I still need something right here, too, so. But I don't want it to go across, so what I'm going to do is, watch. I used to see Tammy Anderson do this with her, um, with her white for her waves. She used to do, um, she used to do little, um, little V-shapes. Okay, now I'm going to blow those out, and then I'm going to call this done. So, um, these paints are good to use in your resin, but they have to have, be over black. They don't look, you can't see them very well over white. Okay, 
I don't want to burn my resin. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Jen, for your, um, stop cooking. Oh, I thought you said, I thought you said stop cooking the resin for a minute. Where do you see a giraffe? Right here, Joe? Joe Fish, right here? A giraffe head? Yeah, I kind of see a head and antlers, but to me it's not a giraffe, it's a deer. No, Joe Patty, it's a deer. I'm going to have to call that one a deer. So, I don't know how much of these colors I have left. I also, I'm, uh, it's going to go up later this week. I also, and I failed, I also tried the blue bonnets with a balloon smash in resin. Looked like crap. Okay, let me see. White goes in first. Oh, man, that's hot. I am just getting rid of my resins real quick. So, I hope everybody learned something from this. Um, you can use acrylic paints. Those are heavy-bodied acrylic paints. Okay. Moose. <laughs> No, I see, I really, it looks more, this right here, and that being the eye, it looks more like an antelope with a long mane, a, a lot of hair behind it. <laughs> now I'm going to, now I'm going to dream about that tonight. I can see it now. Okay, so these are heavy bodied paints. Now I don't know, I will, I will make sure. I haven't uploaded tomorrow's video yet. It's done, but I will probably add somewhere in there a shot of this dry. Or, well, most of you are in ATD's poor people group. Okay. Oh, I thought somebody was leaving. <laughs> You're still talking about it. <laughs> Super tilt the giraffe off. No, I'm leaving it, Jen. I think he's cute, and he's not a giraffe to me. He's an he's a um um he's an um um antelope. Okay, I'm trying to put these from the darkest to the lightest. Oh, that's why. Yes, isn't it, Danae? I love that, that you can see all kinds of different things in the art. Anyway, well, you guys don't need to stick around while I'm doing this. I'm just trying to get this, this resin out of the cups. Okay, um, so thank you all for joining me tonight. Thank you, my dear moderator. Oh, yours is, um, um... Jen, your your um um your thing is almost done. Um, I just have to uh uh don't leave. Why? I don't have anything else to do. Christ, I've done like five six pieces today. I'm just trying to get rid of this resin in here. Um, but see, since I don't, I don't, after I put the, the painting in the dust-free zone, um, <laughs> yes, yours, um, your little, um, uh, moderator gift and your, um, and your, um, um, cash is done. I just have to, uh, box them up. The one that I'm my leftovers my leftovers are let me see if I can move this over my leftovers are now gone they're in the the mold because because it was getting tacky because this was not stone coat this was um this was um 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 
Uh, oh, thank you very much, Carrie. Um, what's the consensus of everybody else there? Is anybody else watching? Did I do good by them? I'm just using up this lasses clear just to fill in the bottom of these. Um, there we go. That brought it up to the top. Okay, so Jen, you want to see... Okay, hang on a second. Um, oh, thank you very much, Janae. Okay. Okay, I will see what, what I... Okay, I'm getting it. I took my gloves off. Okay. Here is my favorite, my favorite moderator's piece. There's Mr. Cash. Now, I'm not happy with the sides, but I'm going to tell you something. I don't even know how to sand in, inside those little thingies. Oh, thank you, Angelique. Okay, and... There's your little alcohol ink staining. Uh, well, Carrie's here, so I can, um, um, let me see. Hang on, I'm getting the other two poor pups out. Moo! Moo has been the hardest one to clear coat. Okay, um, here is Miss Joplin. So, I hope Carrie and um, um, Scarlett are looking at this. And, Erica and Jeff, here's your little baby boy, Bowie. Or Bowie Beans is what I like to call him. There's Mr. Bowie Beans. <laughs> You're crying, Jen. Okay, so anyway, um, listen, I am going to go. I don't want to keep you all any longer. I'll make sure, if nothing else, tomorrow I'll put a picture of this, how it dries. Because um, I want to see how the, the pastels dry and everything. i got to put this little baby to bed in my dust-free zone. So, I want to thank you all for coming out. I love the resin right out of you guys. There you are. And, um... <laughs> Okay, um, I will make sure I put a picture of this up tomorrow. Um, I also got a picture of my, um, my balloon smash blue bonnet experiment. Because I could have sworn to God that if, if Erica had just stopped about halfway through, it would have looked good. But no, her and Jeff, they keep, <laughs> they, they keep messing, they keep messing, and it turned out gorgeous, but it didn't look like the blue bonnet. Thank you very much for coming out, Joe. Um, thank you, Karen. Thank you, um, er everybody. Okay? And I love the resin right out of you. Um, if you can remember, hit the thumbs up pretty, please. Oh, thank you very much, Jen. And I will see everybody in the next video which I got a couple to post this week. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all next Tuesday. Oh, they are arting. Okay. They can look at it later. Um, when the live uploads carry, fast forward to the end so they can see the, the, the little poor pups. Okay, bye, y'all. Love you all. Thank you.